This is Clumber Park. Looks absolutely beautiful today on what is the last day of spring. Summer starts tomorrow. I'm just off the A614 here at Clumber and I'm heading down to the South Lawns, which lie south of the chapel and the lake. It's an area of grassy heathland and home to today's quarry. Today's quarry being a beautiful day flying and bright green moth called the Forester. I must admit that I am starting to rather like Clumber now, especially this part of Clumber, the eastern parts of Clumber. It's very quiet, not so much geared to the public like the rest of Clumber is. There's some lovely spots as well in amongst this mix of heathland, woodland and parkland. It really is quite a sight. Now I'm just on the approach to the South Lawns. The good thing about coming in this way from the A614 is that you are coming through suitable habitats for the forester moth. The best place to really try and find it or to locate it is often at flowers like all of the burnet moths. The forester loves to nectar at suitable flowers. But this is the habitat you're looking in Nottinghamshire, well certainly in this area, it's heathland and this heathland continues down further onto the South Lawns proper but it's, the forester is not confined to this kind of habitat former pit tops seem to be attracting the species or at least seem to attract the species a number of years ago it's apart from being found on Nooses and Annesley pit top it's also been recorded from Calverton pit top as well but not seen there for a number of years. Anyway, I'm going that way. See if we can track this elusive beast down. Well, here's the start of the South Lawns proper. The one good thing about walking in from the A614 is that it's not too far a walk. It's only sort of 10, 15 minutes steady walk. And you are walking through really nice habitat anyway. I do like the way Clumber is managed. It clearly is managed, but it seems to be in a more sympathetic manner than at Sherwood Forest, where management seems more extreme and vigorous, shall we call it. Clumber is less like that. Anyway, our search begins. The first task will be seeing if there's any available nectar sources. From memory, foresters like purple flowers, creeping thistle is one flower that I've seen it on a number of times, and knapweed as well but we may still be a touch too early for those. So we'll have to see what flowers we can find and see if our quarry is upon them. Well, as you can see from the scene behind me, this is quite a daunting task that I've set myself. Let's just hope the moth is present. It should be present, but finding it in all this isn't as easy as it may seem even for a moth that is bright green and conspicuous in flight. There's very little in the way of nectar-bearing flowers as well, so 
any chance of seeing this moth may well be purely down to just flushing it from the grass. The food plant of the larva is sorrel and there's pretty much as much sorrel as there is grass here. This really is a beautiful spot and I'm completely on my own here. I know it's a Monday but it's still surprising to find nobody else here. Well, I've walked around the South Lawns here for a good hour now without joy. Very little in the way of flying Lepidoptera. So I'm going to try and look, see if I can find some more flower-rich areas. Hopefully it may well reveal the presence of the forester here. What there has been on here is literally hundreds and hundreds of a chafer. And it's not garden chafer, the one that chews up your lawn and spits it out. It's another one but very similar looking in its Hoplia philanthus. It's not usually as common as I've seen it here. It's by the hundreds here in the grass and flying around the low foliage of the trees. I'll drop a photo in anyway so you know what I'm waffling on about. It's quite a good beetle but I've never seen it in the numbers that is present here. And there is a brief glimpse of a forester. This is not going to be easy. You can see how it's beautiful iridescent green, the whole body and the wings smaller than your six spot and narrow bordered five spot burnets. Well that was a surprise. I just hopped over the minor road just at the top end of the south lawns here and there was an open bit of young plantation, young mixed woodland and that looks promising. In fact, there is a large area of creeping thistle there, but it's about a week off flowering. I think to come back in another week might pay dividends and to visit there. There's just no creeping thistle here, apart from some very young small shoots down there, which might get trampled or grazed off by the longhorns and the sheep that are currently in here. But... This is where it was. All of a sudden I was just walking past and there sat on the grass stem there was the forester. I couldn't believe it. And it became active and was flying around everywhere and I have lost it again but I've got some brief flight shots but what I would do to compensate for the lack of decent shots or video footage I'll put in some photos that show you just what a beautiful moth the forester really is. It's nice that I have actually found one i'm very pleased with that and there's still a chance for me to find some more yet but i'm going to start and head back towards the car success at least of a sort
and I've just paused to have five minutes sat in the shade in these beautiful surroundings here at Clumber. I'm just on the way back to the car now. If you don't like crowds and you're not particularly fond of people, then the further away from the visitor centre, Clumber Lake and the chapel area that you go, the more you will experience this. Clumber, away from the noisier, more public areas, really is a beautiful place and it's very easy to sort of plonk yourself down, tuck yourself out of the way and not see anybody for a few hours. And the scenery is absolutely beautiful, especially on a day like this. So with that, I'll have another couple of minutes here. And then it's back to the car and back to home. Home and an umbrella in the garden and a cold glass of beer. If you can't quite read the inscription, and I walked past this earlier on and never noticed it, it says Muriel's Clump, 1967. I'm presuming the clump refers to this group of trees. Unless Muriel had rather a strange medical condition. I dare say we'll never know.